If you want to learn more about Marvel Finding Unicorn trading cards, well, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. I am so excited to be back for more Marvel Finding Unicorn trading card openings to share with all of you here on the channel. I'm back with not one, but two boxes of the brand new Marvel Comic Series Evolution product that released recently over in China. All of these cards are 100% authentic as Finding Unicorn is one of the Marvel licensors for China. Inside this product, which does have seven cards per pack and 12 packs per box, you can find comic cuts, you can find sketch cards, and you can also hunt for printing plates. If those hits aren't your jam, you can also collect numbered parallels of your favorite characters, numbered out of 100, numbered out of 10, numbered to one, and more. Although I'm personally more of an MCU person, every time I open up Marvel comic book related products, I always enjoy it, and it really does make me want to go out and read more comics. Very curious to see what we find, and also to see what these cards look like in person. I've seen previews online, but I'm excited to go ahead and check it out for myself, so let's go ahead and get cracking. You guys, I'm feeling so popular lately. It is such an honor that companies want me to go ahead and showcase different products and cards with all of you here in my community. I love checking out all kinds of cardboard, shiny cardboard, matte cardboard, thick cardboard, even mini cardboard now. You know, I've come around on minis before, especially out of Ginter, but super exciting. It all started with some previews when I used to be at Titan, and now both Finding Unicorn and Upper Deck have sent me some stuff as of late to go ahead and check out. And as I mentioned, this was sent to me from Finding Unicorn. I've never pulled a sketch card out of any of their products, and I know some really top tier artists do participate in their products, like Angel... I think is the most notable name that comes off the top of my head, but I've seen some really cool, really cool, maybe even Mick and Matt Glebe, to be honest. That I'm not sure of 100%, but I am so excited and I would love to pull a sketch. But when I saw there were printing plates on the checklist, I got extra hyped. I know not everyone loves plates. I'm personally a big plate collector though, and I really like the art that I saw that was selected for this set. So, as I mentioned at the start, this is the Marvel Comic Universe Evolution product. Do you have seven cards per pack, 12 packs per box? This is what the box looks like with the popped up display. Although I didn't do a great job here. Let me uh, fix that a little bit. But yeah, so it does have that little sticker there, the Disney sticker. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Small parts, don't eat your cardboard kids. Ah, then some information about the product in the back. However, it is in Chinese. But let's go ahead and hop on into it. It is a 100 card set. There are some inserts, there's some die cut cards. I'm curious what kind of hits we could expect per box. So what I like about having two boxes to open on up, you get a good idea of what you should be expecting per box. And is there a pull tab somewhere? Am I, am I being dumb right now? Let's see. I did actually cut my nails earlier. So if I have any problem opening packs, I'll blame my lack of my lack of nails. And alrighty. Ooh, so these are a little thicker than I was anticipating. They're not like thicker stock. They're still, I'd say, 35 points, but they are slightly thicker than regular base cards. I like this design a lot. I like the foiling. Ooh, exciting. Magneto, Gamora. I really like the foiling on these. Invisible Woman. Black Panther. Yeah, we do have some sort of Wasp card here. This is a comics puzzle card. Cool. Number piece number six of nine. Cool puzzle piece. We have more of a classic Hulk here. That's cool. Number 102. So I'm assuming that is a high number. And the Valkyrie blue parallel. I really like the base design. I think it's pretty simple, but nice. I like it a lot. Oh man. I don't know what I would do if I pulled a sketch card. I'd be so excited, I know that. All right, Cable, Gwenpool. I also like in the background, it's not just plain gray. You can see like comic book panels. Now I'm not quite sure which ones they are, if they're like specific 
ones that I should know, like key panels, but I do like that they are there. This looks to be another puzzle piece. Yep, that is number seven of nine. Okay. Do these, how do these go? That looks like a Spider-Man piece. Let's see actually on the back, it looks like it has the full puzzle. Yeah, we got Spider-Man on that one. Oh, so this looks like it goes under. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these are, <laughs> they are diagonal on other sides of the puzzle from each other. Okay, never mind. I was like, oh, six and seven, they must be next to each other. Nope, that's not how ordering things one through nine go. We do have a red Miles. That looks cool. Oh, number 29 of 50 and a purple Venom. Nice. Nice. I wonder if Justin was able to get any of this product. Sure, he would enjoy all the Spider-Men in here. I like my Miles. That's cool. Looks great with the black and red suit on the red background, red foiling. Very sweet. Oh, I'm struggling to open the pack again. Ooh, Doctor Strange. Ooh, I think we have another puzzle piece as well. Cyclops. Ghost Rider. Howard the Duck. <laughs> Yep, we do have, ooh, more Spider-Man piece. Now that is the middle piece, middle bottom, so it should be number eight. We have a Thanos copter. What is this? It's shiny. You've received a graffiti vehicles card. Enjoy your card. Vehicles number eight. It's a Thanos copter. Ah, and then we have the Eternity purple. I really like the purple. It's a really nice shade of purple. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any information on, like, where you can purchase these cards, as you do have to buy them in China. Uh, no overseas distribution at this moment, to my knowledge. I don't know anything on price points. I know the last Finding Unicorn product we opened up had many fewer packs per box, but I like that we get so many to check out here, and I am enjoying it. What is this? Ooh, another puzzle piece. I wonder if we could put together the whole puzzle across the two boxes. We have Valkyrie, Spotlight, Sharon Carter, Blue Parallel. You received a Spotlight card. Enjoy your card. I also like how that's just there. <laughs> Enjoy your card. It's like, I do. Thank you. Very cool. Spotlight Valkyrie. Let's see if I can make rooms. We could try and build our puzzle. All, right, all of these cards have been under 100. Yeah, and then just the Hulk has been over 100, which is neat. A little bit of a high number action going on. And then let's see how much room I have, though, with the way the camera's oriented. Um, should be okay here. Can you guys still see under my giant head? Pretty good, I think. Put the Valkyrie there. I want to sleeve it. It seems fancy. Sleeve the Valkyrie. It's not numbered, but I'll sleeve it. Okay. I like my Thanos copter. I like fun inserts. Ooh, I see green. Ooh. This can be... Oh, uh, it's another puzzle piece. I was like, oh, I think the greens are number 10. Base Venom. It's cool. Eternity Base. We do have Vision. Are you number three? You are? Oh, no. I'm running out of space on my table. I'll definitely have to move. Oh, we have the Spider-Mobile! Oh, these are so fun! I recognize the Sherry art, actually. That looks cool. I'm obsessed with these vehicles. They're fun. Alright, let me reorganize. See if I can bring this down. I really hope we can make the puzzle. It looks like we will be able to make the puzzle. If we don't just get the same assortment of puzzle cards in the second box. Puzzle cards look really cool in a binder. Like you take a whole page and you just put them. I have a lot of older Star Wars puzzles from when I used to buy a lot of retail blasters. A lot of them are missing pieces. Like my Journey to Rogue One set, the mission briefing one. I'm still missing several pieces on that one. Very cool. Oh, I knocked over my top loaders. Ooh, Jane Foster, Thor. Puzzle piece number one. Cool. Scarlet Witch looks like a high number based on the retro aspect of it. 
I'm assuming over 100. Yep, number 112, but that was the Hulk. Jean Grey Purple. I feel like I've seen that art of Jean Grey used on a lot of trading cards. I mean, it is a really nice image. So I understand why. More purple. I was going to say, is that a puzzle piece? But it looks skinny. See? Carnage. Cool. Human Torch. It is actually another puzzle piece. Was not expecting it. Are you number nine? Yeah. Ooh, purple Loki. Purple classic Loki at that. Number 106. And Kang. Blue. Blue Kang. I wonder if we can actually get a whole puzzle per box. I will say I'm quite used to, for Marvel cards, when Upper Deck will make puzzle inserts, usually the puzzle pieces are quite rare. Like, especially out of, like, Marvel Masterpieces. Usually you get, like, one puzzle piece, like, every other box or so. So definitely different. We do you have Hercules? That should be card number two. Yeah, fantastic car. Okay, this just looks like a boat. This doesn't look like a car. It looks like a boat. This is ridiculous. I'm seeing so many vehicles. They don't look real. <laughs> Iron Man purple. There's metal. Oh, is that a plate or is that something else? Ooh, exciting, 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 exciting. We do have Janet Van Dyne, Superhero's first appearance card. That's cool. First appearance number five. Oh, so that inserts metal. Enchantress blue, beast purple. Ah, very cool. So we have a wasp metal. I like that. I wonder who else is in the set. Very cool. I like it. Ooh, do I have any 55 points? You look 55 point ish. Yeah, there we go. 55 point top loader. Shout out to me for having a supplies, being prepared. Another puzzle piece should be our final puzzle piece. Cool storm art there. Another Shuri. Oh, it's a repeat. Ooh, we're still chasing down the number one. Purple Scarlet Witch, high number, and Purple Gambit. I will say it's very cool to see characters we haven't seen in a while. We're starting to see them on Upper Deck product as well within the past year on Finding Unicorn product. And what I mean for in a while, I mean on trading cards printed in English in particular. Now, of course, these are on the back in Chinese as well, but Chinese and English for the character names, text in English. Fonts, we weren't seeing Fantastic Four characters, we weren't seeing Gambit, and now, like I said, over the past year, we're starting to see them, so it's cool. It's cool. As someone that came into collecting Marvel cards within the past few years, I guess not really past few years at this point, been about past seven years, which is, you know, 2017 is seven years ago, believe it or not. My first ever Star Wars Masterwork. <laughs> oh, we have green. Hold up. I think that's out of 10. My first ever Star Wars Masterwork was 2017 Masterwork. <sighs> Man, I can't believe that was seven years ago. It's quite insane how fast time has flown over the past few years. In my brain, I still think of myself as like 24, but I'm turning 27 this year. I don't know. When I just think like, oh, I'm like 24. Like, no. No. No, not. Unfortunately. Or fortunately. I don't know, but... I'm excited for this green. I'm procrastinating on the green. Ooh, rigged. Rigged. Emeralds. Who is that? Who's that? Pokemon. It's... What are you holding? It's like, it looks like you're holding... A sword? sword okay they're holding a sword can i cheat and look at the other pictures i don't know uh, i don't know i don't know i feel like i should know i feel like i'm not allowed to look at this until i oh wait mockingbird 
Oh, wait, no, that's not Mockingbird. She was holding something. I was like, oh, it's Mockingbird. It is not Mockingbird. Okay. Um, this is not the correct puzzle piece, by the way. We're still needing the center one. We got one pack left, and then, of course, the whole second box. I feel like we pulled that card. My brain wants to say Deadpool, but it doesn't look like Deadpool's hand. It's just I, I want it to be Deadpool. Oh, I think we have another uh, spotlight insert coming up. The Mockingbird. Colossus. Yeah, we do have our centerpiece. So cool, we did complete the puzzle. And Doctor Strange Spotlight. Ooh. Colossus. Librarian would like this one. Sweet. Number five, Spotlight. Sleeve you up because you're shiny. I'm going to leave that there. Until I can figure out what character it is, I don't want to flip it over. Imagine it's not like the emerald out of 10 and I'm just going insane and I looked at like the wrong part of the checklist or something. But we'll see. Alrighty, box number two. Super exciting. Super exciting. Streamer hacks. <laughs> I can hear it now. If it is out of 10. I like my metal card a lot as well. The puzzle's really cool. You guys can't see me in my lap. I'm just pushing the, the top. It's not going. Okay. Well, I won't push it open then. I was like, wait, this looks suspicious when it's off camera. I wish I had more room. My new desk that I'm excited for, which I haven't bought yet, but I'm excited for a, like a new desk that's separate from my bunk bed, <laughs> which is why the top of my head cuts off if I sit up normally is because otherwise you can see the slats. Can you guys hear them? <laughs> it's like a little micro desk. <laughs> And I have uh, the camera attached to the top of the bed, so I have to, like, zoom in. Otherwise, you can see, like, inches of, like, my legs on the side and then, like, the gap between the wall over there. So, uh, limited space. Like, for me, like, this is fine here, but, like, for you guys, it's, like, cutting off and I have to, like... Ah, anyways. Soon all will be remedied. Hopefully. Hopefully it doesn't take super long for me to get my... My everything is set up. All right. What do we got going on in here? Ooh, black cat image. Ian would like that. I feel like I'm so ingrained in the Marvel community. Like, for me, it, I hunt, like, Tom Hiddleston stuff for MCU products. But then, like, when... This is Deadpool chimichanga truck. When I see stuff that, like, my friends collect, I'm like, oh, they would like that. When I see their their characters. Like, of course, no one owns a character, but, like... I pull Spider-Man, I think Spidey hits. I pull Doctor Strange, I think of, you know, Librarian. I pull Ian. I, I pull Black Hat, I think of Ian from the uh, Marvel Collectors Community Worldwide uh, podcast. That's what MCCW stands for. Marvel Card Collector, Marvel Card Collectors Worldwide. Yeah, MCCW. And I still haven't found out who that green is. I'm sure you must be going insane watching in the comments. Uh, wait. Oh, it's Nebula. It's going to be Nebula. Oh, yeah, because that's her hand. Oh, okay, we figured it out. I cheated. Look, it's Taylor Swift. I cheated. Ooh, that's a beautiful picture of Luna Snow. I was first introduced to Luna Snow in Annual, and I want to learn more about her. She seems cool. I think she's like a K-pop star. Also, that Doctor Strange is a high number, number 116. All right, Nebula. Green. Are you green emerald? Number 210. Oh, number one of 10. Oh, that's got a little bit of a ding on the corner. Oh, look at the corner. Oh, that's too bad. Still, I love it. I pulled it. It's mine. Cool. It's green. Green's my favorite color. Which is unfortunate. I have so many nice green clothes, but now that I use a green screen, I can't wear green anymore. And most of my eyeshadow is honestly green. I'm like, wait, I kind of screwed myself over. I should have got like a blue screen or something. <laughs> I should have got something that wasn't green. Because I can't wear any of my green stuff. <laughs> which is a lot. 
once once I have my new apartment with better lighting, then like I don't have to be so generous, I think, with the chroma key, and then I'll probably be able to wear green stuff as long as it's not this exact color back here. Which also, can you hear that? No, I don't think the microphone picks it up. But ah, I'm so excited for the future. So excited. Love my green nebula. My green nebula. Rock. <gasps> I love this car. I'm gonna sleeve it. Arrow, Spooderman, Jack O' Lantern, and Nick Fury purple. I want to sleeve out my group. I collect group cards too. The problem is, I mean, problem is right. So many people collect Loki and so many people collect Groot. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough, especially because like MCU stuff is not cheap. It's not cheap. Like Black Diamond stuff. Oof. I will say, I haven't looked at prices on Allure since, honestly, like, around release. I wonder if I could pick up some, like, group parallels cheaper now. Still. But still. Everything is so expensive. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it's more green. That's a puzzle piece, right? That's not a sketch card. No, it's a puzzle piece. Okay. Then we have the Thor. Hawkeye purple. I feel like we're seeing a different assortment of base. Oh, my mama want that. The Bucky. Winter Soldier. I want to see more of the car inserts. But yeah, it feels like we're definitely getting a different assortment of base cards. I don't think I'll be able to put together a full set, but we'll see. Cool, 1975. Is this the is this a X-Men thing? I was gonna say Shield, and then I was like, wait, though, no, that's the X logo. Uh, it doesn't tell me what it is. If you guys can let me know what vehicle this is in the comments below, I would appreciate it. I want to collect the uh, whole vehicle set because I find them really funny. <laughs> if anyone watching wants to trade, I I feel like it'd be kind of hard. <laughs> but if anyone wants to like trade. <laughs> Let me know. Is this another metal pack? This one feels heavy. There is something in here. Are you metal though? You look like plexiglass. Maybe it'll look like a ghost spider. Yeah, that's plexiglass. Ooh. What are you? What are those? There's an upside down Shuri. Upside down Kang. What does it mean? Ant-Man and the Wasp. Team up. Ooh, cool. Ooh, and then we have... There's the Shield Helicarrier. Number one of 18. So this is a plexiglass insert. And we had a Sentry Purple. One of 18. Cool. A little bit of... A little scratched. Ah, well, more scratch scratched up on the front. It, the problem with plexiglass cards is, like, they're so easy to, like, just get messed up. They're really cool, though. I like them. Plexiglass. Not so much acetate cards that I found, but the plexis. They're cool. I like I like clear stuff though. If I had pulled the gold outburst Connor Bedard 101 and sold it to David Adams for a million dollars, like I wouldn't tell y'all unless I pulled it on video, and then obviously I gotta get the clout off of that, right? Alright, then I have to. But there would be signs, right? Like, I would buy a lot more sketch cards. I would probably commission a lot of sketch cards. I'd pull, I'd try and buy more original art pieces from Marvel Anime. And also, I've always wanted to, like, collect. I've said if I win the lottery, which I guess pulling a Bedard 101 is about the same as winning the lottery, right? I would want to collect all of Upper Deck Base Hockey, like, flagship, in the clear-cut parallels. Because I just like the clear cards. <laughs> <laughs> ah. But there'd be a lot of squishmallows for sure if I had a million dollars in a house. Ooh, I have an Avengers SSP. Ooh, hold on, we're skipping to that. Ooh, Black Widow, she's so hot. I love it. Sick. I got the waifu boxes. Ain't that sick Moon Knight, bro? 
I love that box of Moon Knight I opened the other day. Now, I don't know when I'm uploading this. I think I'm uploading this on a Saturday. So that it was last week. But for me, it was the other day. Because I still... I, I have to edit. I wouldn't have to edit if I didn't... Ha if I could do my intros in one take. And then I could just use this. Because when I record in Streamlabs, the chroma key looks good. It's when I have to edit videos. See, it's my fault. I'm dumb. I chose an animated background. If my background was not animated, then we could just, like, not have that problem. So, if my new lighting setup still doesn't work super well for the green screen, I might get a new background. But I like being underwater. Or my whooper theme. But maybe I'll just use that for streaming and get, like, new assets for videos and stuff. But yeah, the Avengers stamped ones, they're not numbered, but they are SSPs. To my understanding, I can scroll up. I have the checklist open. It's in Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. Oh, it's a 130 card set. I said 100 card set earlier. Oh, the first numbered parallel is numbered out of 100. My mistake. A 130 card set. It looks like 100 plus are classic uniforms. So I'll treat them as high numbers. We're finding them in the same spot. But not necessarily correct information. My apology. Let's see. The first appearance cards are cool. There's a number to 61 gold parallel of those. I am scrolling the wrong way and then I just completely zoomed out. Whoopsies. There's the Avengers parallel and there's SSBs. They're listed separately. Because it says golden, red, green, SSP, rainbow, one of one. Not sure. Not sure. If I'm able to ask uh, before the video is published, I'll put in the description if I hear back if the Avengers is considered an SSP or it's different. But I will let you all know if I am able to get that information, like I said, before the video is published. And then if so, look in the description down below. And that will... Tell you whether or not that was an SSP. In my brain, I think it is, but I'm not certain. So I'm a little nervous. Alrighty. Alright. Let's keep going. So, first box we had the metal card. This box we had the plexiglass. I'm digging the vehicles. We do have the full puzzle. Alrighty. Another Hercules piece. Ooh, Mantis. And Human Torch, purple. I like these spotlight cards. They're fun. I like the foiling on them. Alright, down to the last bit here. It's so sad when a box comes to an end. It's so sad when there's no more to open, when you've opened everything. And you're like, man, I wish I went more slowly and took it... Took it more slow, enjoyed it, but it's like when you're opening, you're like, I want to just keep going at full speed, Hawkeye. An invisible woman. Purple. It felt like the blues were more common than the purple initially, but we were definitely having more purples than blues for the unnumbered parallels. Howard the Duck. Ultron. Very cool image there. The Spider-Mobile, our first duplicate vehicles insert, and a blue Eternity. We do have a base of blue and a purple Eternity now. Uh-oh. Am I going to get this open? Let's see. Open from the bottom. That was actually easier. Tigra. Hulk. Silk, I think that's our first silk. We have since 1991, another Deadpool chimichanga truck. <laughs> it's exploding uh, cheese. <laughs> Ooh, it looks gross, but yet I don't know why. It looks kind of tasty. I just really like cheese. I'm so thankful I'm not lactose intolerant. Life would be so much rougher if I couldn't have cheese. When I was, was I in college? If I was freshly graduated college. 
I very, very briefly dated somebody that was lactose intolerant, but they loved cheese so much that they didn't care. And they just kept eating cheese. And I was like, is it okay for you to do that? They're like, yeah, I'm good for like two hours. And I'm like, they're like, yeah. It's two hours. I'm like, we couldn't, we couldn't go anywhere. Because anywhere we'd go, they'd eat cheese. And it's like, you just gotta rush back to like drop him off or whatever. Because he's like, well, I'm gonna explode in two hours. It's like, I, I get the cheese grind, but I'm also not lactose intolerant. I also abandoned this pack. When did I abandon this? Oh, when I found the Black Widow. That's why. Life is, uh, is a conglomeration of interesting experiences. All righty. <laughs> Fun story time over. Let's go ahead and... <laughs> Uh, stack up and sort our files and get into our little recap here since I feel like we definitely had a lot to look at so we averaged two spotlights per box we averaged a complete puzzle with several extra pieces per box we did have I'm gonna, I feel a little bad miles is the only one that's not top loaded let me top load miles very very nice parallels this is a 55 point what the heck My 55 point box was almost done, so I put it in my other box and I dropped it. So my my top loaders are just mixed between 35s and 55s. And they're mystery. You just kind of gotta look at them and be like, "You look skinnier than the rest. You're a 35." Nope, I'm just blind. All right, so we had one acetate team up card, Ant Man and the Wasp. We had one metal card. Where did it go? You have the Janet Van Dyne Wasp. So definitely Ant-Man and Wasp themed. Uh, plexiglass cards usually go on 75 point top loaders. I don't have any on hand right now. The metals usually go in 55 points. And this is my experience with other card companies. And then for our super rare parallels, we had the Green Nebula Emerald, number one of 10. Super sick. Love this Black Widow. Avengers Parallel, potentially an SSP, and the red Miles Morales, 29 of 50. Very cool. And then probably my favorite base card, just because I love the little Groot. I will say the art for Rocket, I'm not, not the biggest fan, not necessarily my style, but I love the way the little tiny baby Groot looks, so I am loving this base card. Between the two boxes, I feel like we did get a good variety on the base. As I originally said, I thought it was a 100 card set. Looks like it is a 130 card set, but the higher cards numbered over 100 are like these um, classic versions. Let us actually pan through our base to see if that is the case. Number 100 is that silk. See if we have any others. Also, those high numbers, as I am personally dubbing them, were always at the back of the pack, too. So I think they are like a high number SP. As compared to our amount of base we got out of two boxes to only get, what, four or five or so cards numbered over 100 in the two boxes, they seem pretty rare. So I think they're SPs. I would say normal base set, 100 cards, and then the 30 card SP set of old classic costumes and images puzzles fun i like puzzles i do think more companies in general should make more puzzles one thing i always tried to collect but it never worked out and i feel like probably most people didn't collect it because it was always so huge but for the longest time upper deck mvp hockey would have in the base set there'd be on the back there'd be a parallel where it was a nine card like giant image parallel and there was a lot of puzzles. Every set had a ton of puzzles. I just like puzzle cards. I like when you can get the whole set in a box, though. Because then it's, you're not like, ugh, you have to chase it. It makes it, if you can get almost a complete set in a box, here we got a whole set. If you got, like, under a set, I still feel like that encourages you to try and complete it. Whereas, like, sometimes you just get, like, one piece and it's like, well, I'm not going to go get the other eight pieces if they're super rare. When they're not that hard to pull, it's it's definitely a lot of fun. 
I'm curious though. Let me know your thoughts on puzzle cards in the comments below. Unconventionally, I'm a big fan of printing plates. I know not everyone is. Maybe also everyone else dislikes puzzles and I'm just weird. I don't know. I'm curious. Let's talk about it in the comments below. But with that, I feel like I'm rambling. So let me go ahead and get back under the water and we'll get to that wrap up. Well, that does wrap up our look at the brand new Finding Unicorn Marvel Comics series Evolution Trading Card Set. That doesn't wrap off my thoughts about the product. I had a ton of fun checking out the product. I loved how this box had a lot more cards and a lot more packs than the first Finding Unicorn product we checked out here on the channel, which I'll link that opening somewhere up on top of my head. While I did enjoy both products, I found the hunts in this set a little more exciting as you did get different color parallels and a lot more cards per box. I'm so excited that I got some lovely ladies and of course super awesome miles in these boxes. Very cool to pull a green number to 10 with the Nebula, the rare Avengers Parallel Black Widow, and super cool color match number to 50 on the Miles Morales. While we didn't find any sketch cards or printing plates, I did have a blast finding these more rare metal and plexiglass cards in each of the boxes respectively. Unexpectedly for me, I really enjoyed the vehicle sets. While other vehicle sets, especially I feel like in Star Wars products, tend to be more of a filler insert and more stock photo-y, I felt like these are really cool looking, really fun, and I'm intrigued to learn more about like the Spider-Mobile and Thanos Copter, which Thanos Copter I feel like I've only ever seen in memes before. So not sure if it's the first Thanos Copter card, but I like it a lot. Overall, it was a super fun product, and unfortunately, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm not quite sure where the average person could go and pick these up. I'm not sure what stores carry them or import them over from China. If you are a resident of the United States or Canada, of course, we have Upper Deck Marvel products over here, but these are licensed in China, so you do have to import them from overseas. I can't direct you all in any place to go find them, but if you do happen to come across these in your travels, this is what they look like. And I really enjoyed this set in particular. And as I mentioned, I want to finish this set. So if any of you are down to trade, let me know in the comments below. Now I've been singing praises, but I'm curious to read your thoughts in the comments below. I asked if you all like puzzle cards already. So let me know the answer to that question, but also let me know your thoughts and feelings on the Evolution Series product down below as well. While that long-winded recap and review wraps off all I have for you here in this video, before you head on out, why not check out that one? I really think you'll enjoy it.